Today we're going to look at how to bring a financial spreadsheet in from Microsoft Excel. I'm going to start by clicking either on this button here or on this button up here to bring in a new data feed. I'm going to go ahead and select my data, which is going to be by file upload. This allows me to choose the file. I have my financial data here. And you can see from this preview, this looks like a, a typical financial spreadsheet. I've got my accounts uh, on the left-hand side and my dates along the top. Now it has to be transposed so that the dates are running up and down and we've got our accounts in each of the columns. So we can use this toggle here to make that happen. And then in addition, what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that these are recognized as the, the header labels here. So I'm gonna do that, perfect. This will then bring me into the data feed editor where I can further clean this file up. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to give this the proper uh, column header here. And then I'm also going to go ahead and, and just remove some of the blank columns just to clean up my, my sheet here. You can always uh, expose those hidden columns up here with this toggle as well. Now, in this example, we're going to be only building a metric that is looking at revenue. So COGS and gross margin and all that kind of stuff we don't want for, for today's example. So we only want licensing and services. Now, we also want to use those as the categories so that we can segment our data. So I'm going to have to reformat this data by unpivoting it. And I'll show you how to do that here. So we're going to select all columns except for our month column. And that will allow all of the data to fall into two categories here or two columns here one for our accounts we're actually going to call that accounts and one for our values our our, our currency values and we're going to change that as well to uh, to currency okay so now we've got that now we still have uh, expenses and cogs and and general and marketing in here so we want to we want to further filter that to only have licensing and services so I'm going to go ahead and use the filter uh, feature here. So equals licensing. And I'm going to say match any or services. Perfect. And we now have a beautiful data feed that only has licensing and services. So revenue, in other words, uh, and we have this formatted as currency. So I think we're almost ready to go. We're going to save this file here. And that then brings us into the place where we can then build metrics from our data feeds. So we're going to go ahead and, and do that right now. So I'm going to add my first metric. So you can see here that I'm going to choose values as the measure that we're aggregating. And then I only have one choice, but my account is going to be uh, what I use to segment the data. And why don't, we, why don't we open up this date range a little bit so that we have a little bit more, more data to play with and, and see in this preview. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, if I go to account, I will see this segmented. Of course, I can change the way this displays. So a stacked line would probably be the best way to display this information. And let's just double check the rest of the data here. So I'm gonna call this revenue. And we're gonna give it a description so that folks know what, uh, what we're talking about. Okay, and then let's just check out the service, the settings. So currency, the, the currency symbol, trending up is positive, and there we go. Okay, we can then go ahead and save this and you're ready to share it with uh, your colleagues and use it inside of dashboards. There you have it, uh, taking a financial spreadsheet and building a beautiful revenue metric uh, out of that. Thanks so much.